Hey everybody, Bean Chow here, and we're back on another episode today at Bean Chow's Garage with our Honda ADV 150. And on today's episode, we're going to show you guys how to install a Yoshimura exhaust, a Chimera short intake, right over here. Bam. We're also going to remove this ugly intake box, and then we're going to show you guys uh, some performance differences before and after. So, uh, we're going to get to work because this is Bean Chow's Garage. So I pulled off the Yoshimura exhaust to show you guys the factory comparison from stock to aftermarket. There's a massive weight difference, uh, but you'll see up close here, the piping, all mandrel bent, beautifully still pop, good stainless steel, full flow. This guy, um, you'll see a little bit more restrictive. The bends are still mandrel bent, but here it looks like there's a crush bend here so I mean you can see where they cut corners to save on uh, obviously mass production and there's obviously for California it's got a Cal electric converter built into this and it muffles the noise a ton but besides that more than half the weight reduction plus better breathing and it's a lot louder so people will notice you on the road and a slight performance increase can't complain so we're going to give you guys a sound test with the stock one on and then the aftermarket and then the DB killer so you guys can hear it. So we're going to show you guys how to remove your exhaust system and install the aftermarket one. Um, I'm going to install the factory one really quick. It's super easy. We'll bolt it up and then walk you guys on how to remove it and then walk you guys on how to install your aftermarket exhaust. All right. So I installed the factory exhaust system back on. <laughs> Now, it will sound different because I have an intake and I also have a bigger, uh, I have a variator with uh, 12 gram rollers on it from uh, Yuma, uh, Yoshimira, Yo Yoshihara, I believe, yeah, Yoshihara variator with 12 gram uh, weight, so it's going to rev a lot faster than your guys' stock, um, than your guys' stock uh, variator setup. So, it will sound different, but this is what it's going to sound like pretty much with a stock exhaust, with the variator, and an intake. Enjoy. So that's stock. Nice little growl to it. See how it revs up a lot faster than than uh, stock. So we're gonna rev it up pretty high. That's pretty much factory exhaust sound just with the variator and intake. Doesn't sound bad at all with once you have those mods in. Um, we're going to show you guys how to remove the exhaust system and install your Yoshimura exhaust instead and enjoy the big difference in just the way the system just sounds. So we're going to walk you through on the removal process which is super super easy. First you're going to need a 14 millimeter socket. And then you're gonna to need to remove one, two, three, and number four bolt down here. That removes the pretty much the primary portion of the top portion of the exhaust. If you follow your uh, your little downpipe down here, there's two 10 millimeter uh, nuts. You're gonna need 
a six inch extension or you can use a uh, shorter extension with the uh, with the deep socket 10 uh, to get those uh, it varies on what you want to bring with you but a 14 and a 10 millimeter is all you need with a good extension and your ratchet and you can do the entire job for removing installing your Yoshimura you're gonna need a 12 millimeter um, what's it called um, wrench and two Allen wrenches I'll give you the sizes in a little bit for those to install your exhaust system but it's super super simple all right on the bottom of your exhaust you should see two little exhaust nuts about this big chrome they're 10 millimeters just remember to remove them remove them first before you actually unbolt the entire exhaust system if you don't do that it'll make things a little complicated or you have have a possibility of damaging the exhaust when removing it uh, be very careful because your downpipe will be very hot after I just rubbed the crap out of it. Uh, besides that though, now it's time to remove the three, the three um, 14s right here. I already had these removed so they're not even on tight. They're all just on. <laughs> These are going to get a little hard because uh, a lot of the weight's on here. So just give you a heads up. If it's not too hot, you can always put your knee on it and kind of pry against it. That way it'll give you the little leverage that you need to loosen it up so all, not all the weight's on the actual bolt itself. should slip out just like that oh it's hot so that's the entire exhaust system removed <clears throat> and you got your two tens here and then your three uh, 14s one two and three all right now one thing you guys got to remember there's a donut gasket in the head sometimes that stays in there or comes out with the exhaust I recommend leaving it in there instead of trying to slip it on with the exhaust. It actually works out easier. Um, it allows you to line it up a lot easier when you put it in. So the first step uh, during your install is the lower bracket. Now remember the three black ones, there was a silver one down over here in this little corner that's also a 14. Um, this guy, this is no longer reused. They provide The exhaust system provides you with a new one. So do not reuse this one, alright guys? So you'll notice that the bracket is uh, slightly bent. Uh, it's for re so it actually uh, matches up correctly here. So if you see here, there's a couple ways this can go on. The way that it actually goes on, it's this way. Um, the top bend here, you'll see there's a crease here that's bending outwards. This is the way that it goes on. And all you're gonna do is use the shorter hardware provided. They give you two short bolts with the washer. One very short bolt here. And then this very, very long one with the spacer. And this is for the top portion of the exhaust. Now always hand thread everything. Never um, use like an impact gun or something like that. Just because you want to make sure you don't cross thread anything. Make sure these are on snug. Before you uh, bolt up the exhaust, these have to go down. Um, it's an eight millimeter Allen and a six to do your whole entire project. So make sure these are on nice and tight. Okay. 
And then you're gonna slip on your exhaust first through the back and you're only gonna thread on the nuts about like two to four threads in before you actually mount it to your actual factory uh, mounting location next. So here, again guys, on the actual um, uh, exhaust manifold, this uh, brace right here is what you call uh, annoying because it's not set. It's not welded in place like the factory one. So be careful when you guys put this on um, because it can get caught in one of these corners and then you'll try to thread it on like this and it, it will work, but it won't give you full tension. So make sure it sits like this and not at an angle where it locks itself. It's really, really annoying. So be very careful when you guys do install this poor this flange on the end. The donut uh, gasket's already in the head. All we have to do is slip this on uh, to the factory spot and then use the, um, uh, the factory nuts that are provided. So when you slide this in, make sure it's in in this direction. Okay, I just put it in there. Don't uh, mount it completely. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get your little spacer and bolt here, and you're gonna thread it in with like two or three threads. That's it. Okay. Come on. On here, talk about two or three threads. Don't put anything else. Do not mount the bottom bolt. I already slipped the exhaust on and put the springs on ahead of time, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm already ahead of you on that portion, but that's pretty much it. That's all I've done ahead of time. All right. Next, you're gonna get your two uh, 10 millimeter nuts and your short, I use my short one for this one, it works better. And then try to get that gasket slipped on to the exhaust manifold, I mean to the head. All right. So. With the two 10 millimeters installed on the downpipe, from the head to the exhaust, we're all the way up. We put the uh, bolt here, the, the really, really short one with the nut. You're going to need a 12 wrench for that one, and a 6 millimeter Allen, so you can counter hold and get that nice and snug. And then your eight millimeter for the top. And then you're done. That's how you install a Yoshimura exhaust on your Honda ADV. Now let's give you guys a sound sample uh, without the DB killer and with the DB killer. All right, guys. So this is uh, without the silencer on the bike. This is just straight raw Yoshimura exhaust. So it's going to be loud. I definitely recommend turning down your uh, volume on your mic or your speakers because it's a night and day difference in how this bike sounds. with it at with it with no silencer installed so it's pretty dang loud <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys now with the silencer installed all right so I installed the DB killer pretty much just a little like reducer that goes at the end of the exhaust tip it goes on with the Allen uh, nut, uh, Allen bolt pretty straightforward 
here you go. You guys get an audio sample of that. A little bit quieter, not much. It is quieter though. the db killer i think it sounds better without it but it is louder <laughs> so it's really up to you guys on how you guys want to enjoy it so now we're going to walk you through guys on how to install the chimera short intake uh, short ram intake next but that's going to be another episode thank you guys for watching this portion you'll have the next part coming up after this all right peace out and you guys have a wonderful day